after six years. So Ruth Markle uh, describing how, how things unfolded as it led to the uh, arrest of Charlie Adelson at his trial beginning next week. Again, almost 10 years ago, Dan Markle was killed. Um, Bob Bott is here, Catherine Lazardo. Bob, let me ask you this. Um, there, there's a point at which you're thinking, you know, Wendy, as I've already described, is very interesting on this. But, but you know, she, and I hate to use this word, benefited, but arguably she benefited by the actions that took place that took out the other half of the child custody battle, Dan Markle. Um, but they've never seemed to focus on her, now just her brother. It's because they can't. It's what I was alluding to earlier. They don't have the evidence against her. You know, I mean, it's like, believe me, every juror in that box is wondering the same thing why hasn't this woman been charged for the exact reason that you said she benefited she benefited more than anybody it sure wasn't uncle charlie you know sure he gets to spend some time with his, his niece and his nephew but like it, it was about mom and it was always about mom the fact of the matter is, is they simply don't have the evidence to charge her now you know they've got three convictions in the books they're trying to get the fourth, you know, and when they're knocking these pegs down, they're hoping that one of them is going to flip. Problem is between, the, you know, the shooter and, and, and the boyfriend who set it up is only one of them was dealing with Charlie. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's like she's like the godfather. You know, where they, they, they're they smart enough to put their, their foot soldiers out there and their lieutenants out there so that they're bulletproof. You know, it's the same concept here. They're, they're, they're reaching and they're really trying to get to her, but they're having a hard time finding that evidence. And, you know, ultimately, because I, I know that Katie has turned state's evidence, you know, after she sat on the stand in two different trials and denied any kind of involvement. So I don't know what that's going to mean in this case. I mean, is she going to now say, well, yeah, I was complicit, you know, does does that hold water? Well, two trials ago that you said you had nothing to do with it. So which one do we believe? You know, so it'll be interesting. The whole witness list in this case, Michael, is going to be fascinating how it plays out. Yeah. And, and you know, we 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 know that Luis uh, Rivera did plead out and did testify, I would assume, Catherine, he'll testify in this trial as well, even though, as Bob suggests, it's a different connectivity. But still, what he's got to add is, is important, I would think. Right. Yes. And, you know, having him testify for the jury, because the, you don't want the jury wondering what he would have said. So he, they definitely would want to hear from him. But going back to Wendy, it will be interesting to see her testify on the stand facing her brother and what she will say at that point. And uh, like what Bob was saying, that um, if she is the mastermind here, which is suggesting right now, then um, how would the brother react if he is going to be convicted when she's the one behind it? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a Lori Vallow Daybell syndrome here, where you have a, a relative that <laughs> is so somehow enamored with you that they'll do anything. Uh, that, that's kind of the argument here. So we'll see. And of course, 